Hi, I'm Paul Manwaring at Glimmerm ITBV. Recently, we opened up the Amsterdam iBeacon Mile. Now, what that is, is you have beacons, you'll see little signals. When you see a signal, on the left there, there's Piper's Restaurant, uh, and on the right, you'll see another one for the Chinese restaurant. These beacons are sending signals to smartphones. There's the Open Bada Bibliothek, the new library. Uh, and as you're going through the iBeacon Mile, you'll be pushed information to your cell phone about where you are and where you're going. Up here, we have the first LoRa beacon. Now, a LoRa beacon is important because provided by KPN, it pushes uh, data, but it also gathers data and sends it to the cloud. And all this data is open. So developers can use this data and use the iBeacon numbers to create interesting interactive experiences. This is the Nemo Museum, the Amsterdam Science Museum. Uh, and we around the corner here, we're going to see the historic Oosterdok. Now, the Oosterdok has a lot of really interesting historical ships and we can push that information to apps on smartphones so people can learn more about the ships. There's another LoRa beacon gathering data again. And the people you see in front of you are a lot of people that took part in the first tour of the iBeacon Mile on the 23rd. And I want to thank people like Amsterdam, the city of Amsterdam, KPN, Amsterdam Smart Cities, and JC Deku. Up here on the right, we're going to pass a bus stop that's owned by JC Deku, and they're providing all the bus and tram stops on the Beacon Mile. And here on the left hand side, we'll see the historic Maritime Museum, the Schreitfart Museum. And as we pass the Schreitfart Museum, we're going to come to the historic Marine Tanina the new offices of Glimworm ITBV and Amsterdam Smart Cities and the home of the startup Delta. And I want to thank them as well as a million people. Thank you very much.